All right, so we did the rules related to identifiers in terms of they can have letters, digits, as long as it's not the first character, underscores and dollar signs. We had some examples here. Um, we, ha we typed one that wasn't a valid identifier um, just to show what it, what it isn't. Um, here's some other important things about identifiers. So let's do another slash star enter, so a little comment block. Hopefully the comments are easier to read today. I tweaked the colors, um, so it shows up a little bit better on the screen. So here's the other thing about identifiers. Identifiers are case sensitive. What that means is that the case, uppercase, lowercase, matters. So these are different identifiers. So let's define some additional variables of type turtle. So we could have squirt, all lowercase. We could have squirt, all uppercase. We could have squirt with a mixture of cases. Those are three unique identifiers. For your sanity and the rest of our sanity, please, 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 don't create variables that are the same other than just their case. It's a nightmare. It's really easy to make mistakes. It's really hard to read. We're going to take advantage of case for conventions to give us syntax clues of what an identifier is. Um, but I want to point this out because if in some part of your code you have all lowercase squirt, and later in your code you do a capital S squirt, um, and things don't work, it's because Java treats those as totally different identifiers. So it's important to be aware of that. All right, those are the rules of identifiers. We're now going to focus on some of the conventions that we all as Java programmers have agreed to um, that help us better uh, read and understand code. So here's our first convention. So another slash star by convention. Constants are all uppercase. Use an underscore to separate words. What I mean by a constant is a variable whose value never changes. Okay. Um, so by using all uppercase letters in that variable name, that communicates to others reading your program. Java doesn't care, but it communicates to other humans reading your program that, hey, this is a constant and its value uh, should never change. So for example, I'm going to do, we could have an integer value and I could name it speed of light. The speed of light is constant in all inertial reference frames. It is always 300 million meters per second. So that's a three with eight zeros after it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll put a little end of line comment here to specify my units are meters per second. 300 million meters per second. So when someone else is reading this code and they come across this variable, this identifier, speed of light, in all capital letters, they're like, oh, that's a constant. Cool, I can rely on the fact that its value doesn't change. Again, the Java compiler doesn't care, but we humans care. It's part of our conventions. There are ways to make Java enforce this as a constant, but we're going to get to that later. We're not going to worry about that right now. All right, next convention. By convention, again, not a rule, but something we agreed to do, most other identifiers start with a lowercase letter and subsequent words start with an uppercase letter. We call this camel case. So for example, if I have another variable of type world called Pacific Ocean, it would be capitalized like this. So there are three conventions we've seen so far related to identifiers. The first was from yesterday. 
if it starts with a capital letter, we know it's a class. Okay, that's an important syntax clue. We see an identifier, starts with a capital letter, got to be a class. If we see an identifier with all capital letters, we know it's a variable um, that is constant. That's useful. Otherwise, if it starts with a lowercase letter, we know it's some other type of identifier. It could be a method. It could be a variable. Um, the syntax isn't enough, to, or the, the capitalization isn't enough to help us. We're going to have to look at other syntax clues, which we'll focus on um, in a bit here. So the capitalization helps us understand things. For those of you familiar with Python, this is different than Python. Our Python variables are all lowercase, separated by underscores by convention. Okay? Java doesn't do it that way. Um, it's, there aren't underscores normally, um, and we use the, the camel case, the mix case instead. All right, let's try appear instructions.